Generative AI infiltrated many industries in 2023 with substantial impacts for the music and film industry, academia, and political advertising. But the biggest change lay directly in the hands of consumers, with ChatGPT giving non-programmers the power to generate text, images, video, music, and software codes. Students were quick to embrace the technology, sounding alarms among some teachers that it is akin to cheating. Teacher Donnie Piercy sees it differently. The idea of AI in education Definitely understand the concern, but I feel like there's going to be so much more good that comes out once we as teachers figure out how best to use it. Piercy let students use ChatGPT to create a play and then tweak it to make it their own. The AI wrote us the entire script and we didn't even know there was going to be a robot and time traveling involved. Musician Holly Herndon developed an app called Holly Plus that allows people to sing through her voice in real time. Musician Fur demonstrates here. And it is so murky. Similar technology was used by an anonymous TikToker to create the viral hit Heart on My Sleeve, which sounded like megastars Drake and The Weeknd. I think right now it seems really scary, and I completely understand why people are apprehensive about it, but I think. In the future, it could be something that's really playful and that there are ways where the artist doesn't necessarily feel like they have relinquished all control over their work. The issue of using other people's work to create generative AI data sets was central to the Hollywood actors and writers' strikes. Duncan Crabtree Ireland helped negotiate the actor's new contract with studios. What we needed was informed consent and fair compensation. Those were the key principles we were fighting for and also, uh, you know, limitations on the use of generative AI. All of those things exist in this contract. Generative AI has also been used to create political deepfakes ahead of the 2024 U.S. presidential election. This video from a group affiliated with a Republican rival to the former President Donald Trump included AI-generated images of Trump hugging former White House chief medical advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci who is unpopular among many Republican voters. Stanford University professor Ga Wong says technology is outpacing human regulators. He spoke to VOA over Zoom. Before we even had a chance to really figure out what one thing really means, the next quote unquote groundbreaking thing is upon us. What's at stake is how we, how we communicate, how we work, how we govern. Federal lawmakers have introduced measures targeting the use of deepfakes and other manipulated content in federal elections. U.S. President Joe Biden signed an executive order in October, which establishes new standards for AI safety and security. Dina Mitchell, VOA News, Austin, Texas.